Welcome back to BarChart.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about saving screeners so that you can run them every single time you come back to the website. I'm going to start off by going into the stock screener. Maybe you are looking for things that made a new a new 52-week high today. I'm going to put in today's date. And I'm also looking for stocks whose market cap falls within a specific range. Maybe I'm used to looking for the medium market cap stocks as uh, one of my investing tools. I have 33 results today, which gives me a good number of stocks to look through. I can use flip charts. I can download them. I can change and look at different data views, including any of the custom views that I've created. So if I like what I'm seeing, and if I want to see a brand new list every single day I come back to the website, I'll click the Save Screener button. You will start by giving your screener a name. And if you'd like, you can enter an optional description. If you are a Bar Chart Premier member, there are a few other options that I'm going to talk about right now. First of all, you can save your preferred view along with your screener. The filter view is showing me the data fields for each of the filters that I've added to the screener. Maybe I like that main view. Every time I run my 52-week high screener, I would like to be presented with the main view instead of the filter view. I can also identify a sort on this. These are all the different data fields that I have to choose from. So I'd like to sort my screener by descending percent change. I'll see the highest percent change first on the list. Another Bar Chart Premier feature is that you can automatically get the results of this screener sent to you at the end of each trading day. So I can say that I'd like an email report sent to me with the top 10, 25, or 50 results of the screener. And I can also attach a CSV file uh, and I will get that attached to the email at the end of the day. You'll see that it's saved the screener for me and now I'm looking at my screener 52 week highs. I'm going to exit the screener and go back into it to simulate what would happen if you were looking at this let's say the next day. To load one of your saved screeners simply look for it from the list. Here are the filters that I've saved. When you click see results You'll see it's presenting me the view that I saved it and the sort that I've saved it in. All of your saved screeners are kept for you in your Tools menu under Organize Screeners. The Organize Screeners page is divided into four different tabs. We have four categories of screeners and you'll find your saved screeners in each of the applicable tabs. Here's the one that I just saved. It is a stocks screener. I've selected to get an end of day email and I can edit the screener settings to change the screener name, to change the default view that the screener will present me with and so on. You may also change the order of the screeners as they appear on this page and as they appear in the screener itself. Clicking the red button allows you to completely delete the screener. And clicking on the name brings me back to that stock screener. It loads the screener that I've selected, showing me the view and the sort that I've chosen. There are also a number of preset bar chart screeners that come with your account and you can choose to view any of those by selecting them from the filters tab. 
this one happens to have three different filters added to it. Now many times these bar chart screeners are just a starting point for you to add your own filters or change these in some way so that uh, it, it will narrow down the list of candidates more specifically to your taste. And if that's the case, you can always save a bar chart screener, giving it a new name, which then becomes part of your screeners on your account. That concludes this tutorial about saving screeners and using the bar chart screeners. Thank you again for your attention and thank you for using barchart.com.